Let's be honest, there's no guidebook when it comes to relationships. So we end up having to stumble through life trying to figure things out for ourselves. What if there was a podcast that found the answers for you, that provided insight to build a successful relationship and ultimately find the companionship you've always hoped for? Welcome to the Girls Ask Guys show, where we answer the questions most people are afraid to ask when it comes to lessons in life and love. It's time to master this thing called life together with your hosts, John and Ashley. And welcome back to the Girls Ask Guys show, where we are your guide to dating, life, relationships, and everything else that can possibly be thrown at you. Today, we have a quick little 10-minute tip Tuesday for helping you date during the coronavirus separation, don't talk to anybody, stay isolated, lock yourself in the closet type (laughs) deal. Yes. For all of you, um, coronavirus has done a numerous thing for couples especially ones that were just starting to date or couples who were in the process of dating but not moving in. And so now you're like, Jesus Christ, what are we doing? How do we spice things up? How do we keep it moving? You want to go out, obviously. So I'm not saying don't go out, but be cautious when you go out. You want to limit your time out, you know, just social distancing and healthiness and not being spit on. But I think um, we have a couple cool pandemic dating ideas that would actually help you, um, you know, kind of grow closer while still managing to stay at least six feet apart. Yeah, something like that. I work at a casino in my, as far as my other job is concerned. And trust me, people are not social distancing at all. Not at all. People are, if anything, (laughs) I feel like they're closer. The only place that I see that is actually social distance are things like grocery stores and gas stations. And I got to tell you, we should have been doing that forever. I didn't realize how far six feet apart was until we all had to stand on those stupid little circles. And I'm like, this is a good distance. Like, yeah. this, is, uh, well, this actually, is personal space. Yeah, and actually those little circles, at least the grocery store that I go to, people ignore that stuff. They're just like, oh, that's a nice decoration. I mean, Move you over. know. You're in my yeah. I want to like, be within inches of you. Do I have body odor? <laughs> really? Like, why are you so close to me? And, and it really, I mean, not to get too off topic, but once I saw what six feet apart meant in those grocery stores, you know, we stand on those little bubbles like kindergartners and we wait for our turn. And I'm like, this is just called personal space and I enjoy it. So yeah. aside from dating, um, if you could, everybody just stay six feet apart away all the time. Yeah. It's wonderful. The worst thing you can do is actually get that stuff. And then I have a gift for you. Here's coronavirus. Right. That's Here gonna, you go. Yeah. Yeah, that's the gift that keeps on giving, and yeah, and giving. I don't and think, uh, I don't think that's going to actually make for a very good long term relationship. No, well, that'd be one of the shortest terms you ever had. <laughs> really, <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, so if you're, because a lot of us have to still go to work, um, and like if we're dating and everything, sometimes you go to work, you get exposed. Um, sometimes you go someplace, you get exposed, and you have to keep that fourteen day distance. Uh. As the vaccine comes out more and more, people are going to have to keep their distance. Absolutely. Um, And I mean, I'm close enough to getting the vaccine. I'm pretty excited. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. But um, anyway, so as you guys are going through this dating thing, and it's weird, it's very awkward, especially if you just got together um, or you guys were just getting into that point where you're seeing each other more. It was it's a very weird thing to navigate. And I think one of the coolest things that you guys can do with each other, I mean, aside from phone, FaceTime and Instagram is maybe like watch a movie together. Probably one of the strangest things is that you actually meet somebody during this whole quarantine thing and you want to start to go out. But yeah, everybody's like still with the, okay, I want to see you, but we got this whole quarantine thing. We got the Corona thing. I don't know if you've got it. You don't know if I've got it. How do we make this thing work, but still observe safety precautions and everything else that's one of the challenges that i currently have yeah yeah it's i've weird. got this girl that uh, she comes in every other weekend and she like seeks me out at work so yeah that's awesome kind of interesting anyways with that what are some things that you can actually do right uh, you, how do we navigate this yeah so i mean you do have the whole facetime uh zoom meeting things like that but you can also get on other platforms and like get a group of people together. Actually, me and Ashley, we did this when during the hurricane the whole we thing did. happened. Come up with a game, mm-hmm. Cards for Humanity. Try that online. So fun. If you want a fun time, get that game. Buy some expansion packs. 
Trust me. You're All the love expansion it. packs. Yes. yes. Get online and like like John said, play some games together. Do things that you would normally do. I mean, even if we're talking game wise, you guys can hop on. You know, if you have an Xbox, if you have any of stuff, play together. Um, there's plenty of role playing games where you guys can like take your characters can walk together while you talk. It sounds kind of cheesy, but it really does help in the way of connecting. Um, it makes things less awkward, so you don't have to constantly be on your phone. It makes things easier when it's time to go also, you know. And so I think if we're talking connection-wise and having fun, I think, honestly, online gaming together is probably one of the most intimate things you can do. Yeah, I'm not even sure if the site is even still up. Oh, what was it? Probably about 10 years ago, 15 years ago. We had the whole Second Life thing going on. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people, they actually met on Second Life. Yeah, it's not. (laughs) I don't recommend it, (laughs) but... yeah. It's one of those things Never that know. you can look into. I'm not even sure if the site is even still up. I haven't heard anything about it in No, years. people still play Second Life a lot. Yeah, no, no, no. It's still it's still there. Yeah, so just hop on things like that. Another thing, I just had this on the tip of my tongue, too. It's so weird. Another thing you guys can do is kind of like read books together. You guys can sit on Zoom, sit on the phone, and just read together and really start exploring things that you would explore separately together. And as you do that, I mean, there's virtual tours, believe it or not. Like what they're doing right now at some museums is they're doing virtual museum tours. So you can go, you know, and that's really cool. I mean, I've done like two or three of them and they're very fun. They're very interesting. Um, I love a good museum anyway. But to know I don't have to leave my house and go. (laughs) I don't have to do eight miles of walking. I would actually go one step further and actually write a story together. You write one half, they write the other half. So you can like have this imagination type thing where you start writing out part of a chapter and send it to them and then they carry it on and then they send it back to you and you carry it on. It's absolutely awesome. I can just think it right off the top of my head. That can go all kinds. It probably become one of those that probably should go on one adult reader websites. Well, it doesn't have to get weird. I mean, you guys can write a nice... It doesn't have to get weird. (laughs) But if it's up to you. Let your imagination run wild. It yeah. doesn't have to be for a publication. It's just something that's fun to do. Spend time together. And as you guys grow, you know, take some. you can take an online course together. I mean, even if it's something really, really ridiculous like cake baking, you guys can do yeah. that. And you want to do things that are going to connect you. You want to do things that you wouldn't normally do. Because usually when you go on dates, it's dinner, a movie. Oh, yeah. But you have this unique opportunity to really get to know somebody intrinsically. And you get to know what makes them tick. And you get to get rid of that external distraction of the the physicality of relationships. So you have yeah. this unique opportunity as you're dating through a pandemic to really just relax. Just relax with it and get creative. Think outside the box. This is one of those things where you really have to challenge yourself. I mean, I've done right. dates where I've gone way outside the box. Take somebody to Ikea and walk around Ikea for like three and a half hours and pick out stuff and design the house and stuff like that. I've gone to... Uh, home improvement stores. What are we doing here? Right. This is our date. What? And it turns out to be the most yeah. fun time because you're going through and you're thinking about the future. You're seeing what their interests are, where they're uh, very practical or right. they're more extravagant. Yes. Yeah, it's cool. And that's the thing, you guys. It's just about being creative. You know, I, I love that whole write a book together thing. I love exploring things with somebody. I love it. And it could be a hobby that both of you were thinking about. See, this is where it gets really fun because it could be like, are you interested in what am I looking at right now? HP Lovecraft. And they say, no, I'm not. But I thought about reading some of this stuff. Let's do it together. Now you guys have something you can share. Not don't do everything together, obviously, but you have something you can share, something you guys that connects just to both of you without the outside world being a part of it. And it really can just take your relationship even if you guys determine it's a friendship down the line it'll take it and it will will blow the intimacy up to a level that is unimaginable right one of my favorite type of dates to do is a scavenger hunt Mm -hmm. but it's a photograph scavenger hunt so it's kind of outdoors you're exploring the city and you just have like a list of things a street sign that starts with r and you're just kind of walking around and what happens is that it turns into like a competition so you get to see that competitive spirit who's going to win and then it turns into go jump in front of that sign and yep they start posing and they start having fun doing that yeah you can still do a whole social distance thing or you can do it one day and they do it the next day and then you compare photographs 
that's really fun too. You see, so there's so many different ways you guys can date. Don't get stuck up in the whole, uh, we can't do anything. We can't, you just got to think, you got to be creative. You have to be willing to do something out of the box and create something extraordinary. If you want an extraordinary relationship, it's just that simple. And the more you practice this, the easier it becomes. So when you guys see each other and all these restrictions are finally lifted, things are excellent. Yes. So there are different tips and different ideas about things that you can actually do during quarantine, whether you've just Mm -hmm. met somebody and you actually got to see their entire face, not just their eyes. (laughs) And you, you actually start trying to date during this whole coronavirus quarantine thing that we've got. Hullabaloo. Yeah. Definitely a hullabaloo. And, and all it's going to do is you can still use these techniques a year, yeah. two years, or whenever this 5,000 year thing is going to be finally gone. <laughs> that's, how, that's how long it, sound, it feels. It feels like forever. It's only been a year, but my God, it feels like a lot longer. Forever. Yes. All right, guys, always don't forget to like, rate, share, subscribe, tell your mom, tell a friend, tell everybody you know about this show. We cannot do it without you. And I mean that every time I say it. And we've had a phenomenal month and we're looking forward to just so much more happening. So thanks for listening. And um, you're awesome. Yeah, we will talk to you on the next one. That's all for this episode of the Girls Ask Guys show, where all of us learn to master this thing called life together. For more answers to your questions on life and love, be sure to subscribe to the show so you don't miss a single episode. And head to girlsaskguysshow.com to submit your questions for a future episode or apply to be a guest on the show. Good luck out there, and we'll catch you next time right here on the Girls Ask Guys Show. 